Hello and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today we're going to look at the difference between elements and compounds. Now here I have an element and a compound, but which is which? You might see these in a typical chemistry laboratory, but just by looking at them, pretty hard to tell which is the element and which is the compound. Well, it turns out that the one on the left is copper. It's an element. And the one on the right is iron oxide. It's a compound. But what is it about these two substances that makes one an element and one a compound? Well, for that, we need to take a closer look at the structure of these substances. And for that, we're going to get a little help from the computer. Right here, we have a couple of add-on viewers that are going to allow us to peer into uh, an actual substance. So what I'm going to do to start off is take copper and drop it into this beaker and what we see here in the atom viewer is all the same type of atoms. Um, now if a substance has all the same type of atoms then you're looking at an element. Now I'm just going to take um, salt here and drag it into this beaker and if you look closely you'll see that there are two different types of atoms arranged in a, in a crystal lattice um, and if there are two different types of atoms present then we're looking at a, a compound in this particular case we're, we're looking at an ionic compound so copper and salt those are two pretty common things in in the laboratory let's just empty our beakers and we'll try some things that are maybe not so common in the laboratory let's drop lead into this beaker what do you think the result will be element or compound well it looks like we've got all the same atoms so we're looking at an element uh, let's take uh, lithium chloride and drop it into this beaker. Ah, again we have, if you look close, we have two different types of atoms visible in our in our atom viewer arranged in a crystal lattice. So we're again looking at a compound. So if you have this type of uh, visualization software I recommend you try this for yourself. In fact I've done this with the help of a program uh, called Yenka. And you can go to yenka.com, download it for free, and give it a try. Thanks for viewing this digital lesson.